In this video, I'm going to talk about the sequencer. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, we've already covered a lot of it. But in the interest of completeness, I kind of want to go over it again. So it's all analog. There are eight steps with velocity and pitch controls over each of the steps. As I've said in other videos, in order for the pitch to do anything, you have to assign it to either interact with both VCOs or VCO2 using this switch. The pitch knobs go about 10 octaves and it has negative and positive voltage, similar to how the envelopes worked, where if you turn it to counterclockwise from 12 o'clock, it gets negative. The pitch does that also. And you can use those control voltages from the patch bay, which we'll talk more about when I get into the patch bay section. The velocity, on the other hand, doesn't have a negative voltage. So when it's all the way to the left, it's at zero, and when it's all the way to the right, it's at positive five volts, which again, you can access through the patch bay. In general, when the velocity's up, it's going to be a more aggressive or louder sound. When it's all the way down, typically you won't hear any sound at all. So let's advance to step one. Right now, there's a pretty strong sound. But if we turn it all the way down, we get nothing. You've probably seen me use these two buttons a lot. This one's advanced. It just goes through each step. And this is trigger. So when you push it, you hear whatever step you're on. I use these a lot when I'm just trying to plan out a patch because I like to go through each individual step and really dial it in. Of course, the red button is run stop and a light to say it's on. Something to remember, I've mentioned it before, the DFAM doesn't have a reset. So that means that if you're syncing it up with another device like the Mother 32, if you start the sequence and it's on number three, it's going to start right from there and immediately go to number four. So it's important whenever you're running a sequence to go to step eight. So that means that when you start the sequence, the next sound you hear will be the first step. And lastly, you can control the tempo with this knob. So just a few notes about the pitch in, in particular. When you set it to 12 o'clock, you're going to get the same exact pitch as what's as what your VCO's frequency knob is set at. So let's go to step one. And I'm going to turn it to just VCO one. We're going to turn down VCO two, turn down the noise frequency. So right now, all we hear is VCO one. So now as I turn the pitch, even the slightest bit to the left, that pitch is going to go down. So it's really a, where you set your frequency is a balance between this frequency and all the pitches. So that shows you how the sequencer works. In the next video, I'm going to jump into the patch bag.